So I have a special guest today and we're opening three threaded boxes. I have a 50 pound mixed clothing box. I have um, a 15 pair of shoe box and I have a athletic wear box, which I think I've done once before. This is Robert. You may have heard of him. I've talked about him for the last few months. Uh, so he's going to join me and he is not a reseller and he does not know brands. So I'm hoping that if we open some boxes, he'll start learning brands and come thrifting with me. So we'll ready? See. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, I do not recommend ThreadUp. You can open. Um, if you are not new to the channel, you know that I have gotten a Chanel vintage real Chanel bag that I sold for, I want to say $1,500 in a ThreadUp box. And that was like five or six years ago. ThreadUp boxes can be complete duds. It's a gamble. It's for fun here. I'm not recommending it, but they can be a lot of fun. Um, okay. You have to sit. You can't, you can't look. You can't get like, you can't ruin the surprise. So you can choose a shoe. I just and reach in and I... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can choose a shoe. We'll, we'll try and find a pair, but it's that. fine. Okay, first one. Okay, this is not terrible. Okay, so can you read that? Does that say low? Uh, it's cursive, so oh. that's <laughs> actually not off, too far off. It's joie. Joie. J-O-I-E. So, J-O-I-E, joie, you guys probably know of it. This is an expensive brand that does not resell for very much. However, I did just sell a pair of Joie heels for like 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. And these are actually pretty cute. So what do you think of this style? I mean, what, what do we call that style? What is that? I would call this more of like a gladiator flat. Yeah, I've never, I think I've never been a fan of the, the strappy <laughs> gladiator stuff, but. <laughs> okay, okay. But, it's, but the only reason I say that is because there's the lace up right here the, and it's I'm, very strappy. I was curious about how you would describe it because I would describe it as very gladiator or Wow, you Rome, know that Roman. kind of Okay. Roman. <laughs> yes, it's Roman, yes. So these are size thirty eight, so it's gonna be a size seven, seven or seven and a half to eight, probably. Um, they're not terrible, they're not in terrible condition. I will sell these. I could probably get twenty five to thirty five for these. Um, probably twenty five because there is some decent wear. Um, so twenty twenty five is my guess, but I will definitely list those, assuming the other one's in decent condition. Next up. Oh, fake Rothy's. Yeah. Okay, so what is it? Can you find any brand on here? Any uh, sign of a brand? I mean, size 40. Okay, European size 40. And then. So these are a dupe or a fake of a shoe that's called Rothy's. And there is no, so yeah, it would no, typically say. No tag or anything. Right. So these are very similar to the ballet flats. Rothy's, washable. Um, they have kind of the inside blue trim that Rothy's have, but there's just no logo. So these are fakes. I won't sell fakes. Um, I don't know anyone that would want these, so I will probably just donate these. Yeah, they're in good shape still. They're in good shape, yeah. yeah. So. Next up. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let's what does see. it say? Um, I don't know, it's vegan though. Vegan leather, <laughs> fake leather. Okay, so, oh, okay. FRFP vegan. So probably a collab with free people, if I had to guess, and I don't know what FR means. So I will put on the screen after I do some research, but just to show what we see, FR, oh, it's probably covering it. FRFP vegan. So, Style-wise, what do you think? Again, not my favorite. Um, although I would prefer that over the uh, Gladiator style. Okay. Yeah. So this is a step up. Slight. Okay. And some people really <laughs> like vegan shoes because they're animal rights yeah. or whatever. Um, so it, just because it's vegan doesn't... Vegan is just a nice way of saying or a more expensive way of saying fake, fake leather. Fake leather. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're not in terrible condition. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah, so I'll look these up. I had, to, If I had to guess, it would be something Free People collab based off of the style, based off of the logo. But I will put on the screen what the name is and what the comps are if I will sell them. This is kind of a maybe, so we'll put that yeah. in the middle. More cute. joie. Yeah, Do you recognize cute. the... It's the same as the other one, right? So it's probably the same donor. So what size are those? Um, 39. 39, these are 38, so maybe not the same person, but Joie, again, these probably, 
These probably retailed for 150, 200, maybe 250, probably 200. These probably retailed for 150. Retail, um, they have some sense of wear. I could maybe clean up the sides, but I'll sell those if I can clean them up a little bit. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute. I like them. Little comfy shoes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe 25 to 30 for these. But joie again. And yeah, okay. Uh, Clark. Clark's. Yeah. You know Clark's. Yeah. So comfort, not super cheap, but a mall brand. Right. Um, decent condition. What do you think of the style? It's kind of frumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone might like these. Watch them. So think of a better <laughs> term. <laughs> frumpy. Um, okay. So these are seven and a half. These are leather upper. Um, leather upper usually, like unless it's something really trendy and it's vegan, leather upper usually means you can garner more in resale value. Uh, if it's, okay. it just means usually quality. Yeah, a little but step up. Clark's. Uh, we know how I feel about Clark's. I wear them uh, occasionally. My favorite heels for real estate are Clark's. I like the comfort, but they don't resell very well. So this is kind of a maybe. I'm. They're not in perfect condition. I got a so, pair of Clark's. Don't you do. Know. Yeah. Oh, stylish. Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable. Uh, so maybe 20, 25 for these if I decide to list them. But I'll look up the style. Ooh. Ooh those are unique. Colorful. Yeah. What are they? Oh. Um, these might be Superga. Yeah, Superga. I actually just... don't know how to say it. It's Kate yeah. Middleton, uh, I think, wears this, um, this style of shoes or this brand of shoes. Soren is howling in the background. Those are really cute. These are like great pride shoes because they have the rainbow. They're great summer shoes with just like multiple colors. They do have some like lint and a couple spots right here. I don't know if I can wash these, if I can wash them and get them like cleaned up a little bit. But it looks still pretty new though. Yeah. These kind of look like they've been sitting around but not worn much. Right. So again, I think I will put on the screen if yes or no. Did Kate Middleton or does she wear this brand? I think she does. Um, it's not super expensive, but some of them can resell well. If I had to guess, this is probably like, can re uh, resell for maybe 25 to 35, but maybe this style is more desirable. We'll see. Yeah. I think I can sell these. So that's not terrible. We're no. not doing terrible. No. This could be all Walmart shoes for all we know. Ooh, heels. You have to look at the... Miss 60. Mm. Have you heard of it? No. Yeah. You don't wear very many Miss 60 heels. Miss <laughs> <laughs> um, 60, I can't remember where they sell this. Um, I've sold it a couple times. It's not something I pick up these days, but these are not in terrible condition. Little platform heels. So the heel itself is like probably five inches, but because you have an inch here, it's really only like comfort wise, like wearing four inch heels. Right. Um, so these are size 39. These are my size. So if they aren't worth much, I could always just wear them a couple times. Yeah. You like heels. Yeah. But you don't like the straps on this? Uh, it's a maybe. Okay. We'll it's see. Not, it's not terrible, but... It's not a terrible brand. Yeah. So I'll look up comps. If I had to guess, this is probably in the 20 to 30 range on the resale market, but not terrible. Maybe. Kristen... Caliban? I'm not sure. I can't barely see in there. Kristen Cavallar, Chinese Cavallar. Laundry is the brand. Oh, they okay. must have done a collab with someone named Kristen Cavallar, which that's not Cavallari, which is like a reality star girl. Size eight. Um, I've never seen this collab, but I definitely don't pick up Chinese Laundry. I've tried to sell it a couple times. I don't even think it's going to really show. Is it um, like a mall brand? It's, yeah, it's, I want to say it's like, you could buy it at Macy's. Okay. So it's not terrible. Yeah. But um, I'll look up the collab. If I had to guess 15 to 25 at best for these. Um, but. Pretty new still. Yeah, not in terrible condition. Yeah. So another maybe. They're well loved. Fit flop? Yeah. Yay, Fit recognized. Flop. Yeah. Fit flop. Um, comfort. Um, he's saying that the condition is not great. They're well loved, which they are. Fit flop, I've sold a couple times. I don't pick up um, unless it was like a really great, unique or brand new style. I probably wouldn't pick these up. So just condition wise, I don't think I'm gonna resell these. These are probably a redonate. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Sorel. These are not bad. You know the boots that I wore. 
I was going to wear in Yosemite, and... Are these like a fashion boot or like an outdoor boot, actually? Both. Both? Yeah. These, are, okay. these are waterproof leather, so it says waterproof right here. Sorrel is, makes a lot of outdoor wear um, shoes. So these probably retail for a couple hundred dollars. Resell depends on the style. If I had to guess, these are going to be between three, 30 and 60. Um, they're in pretty good shape. What size are they? They're a little big. I don't know. They're not big. They're my size. They're not a little big. Jeez. It's they're just, a women's size nine. It's just a big looking. Or it's a not. Big, a, it's, <laughs> it's not really my style, but Sorrel, um, I think I can clean this up on the bottom a little bit. So awesome. 30 to 60 is my guess. I'll write on the screen with the comps are, but. Yeah, they're cool. Okay. That's sellable and a good brand. Okay. Just a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video which is one of my favorites and you guys have heard me talk about them and I won't stop because they're great. They're awesome and there's a million reasons why I love using Earth Breeze. But before I jump into the reasons, if you don't know what they are, I'll show you. This is my laundry detergent and I used to have those big plastic jugs and now I have this super slim holder. This is my laundry detergent. So it's very thin. It kind of looks like a dryer sheet. It's this really interesting material. I'm just tearing it just to show you it's kind of what the texture is like. You don't have to, you can just throw it in. Uh, but it's awesome. Um, one of the main reasons I love it is because it saves me space. I do not have a laundry room, so I don't have much room for big jugs of laundry detergent. And so I really love it for that reason. I also love that a fact that it gets things clean. And as a reseller, we do a lot of laundry. We deal with a lot of gross clothes coming in from thrift stores and the bins. And this always gets my reselling clothes, my thrifted clothes and my personal clothes clean every time, which I love. So I'm gonna do a load of laundry, um, but also they have two different options. They've got a fragrance option and a fragrance free option. But because I'm a reseller and I ship out clothing, I choose the fragrance free just to be safe. But both options are great because they are dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic and free of bleach, dyes and parabens, which is awesome. I'm also showing that the material is just kind of this paper that holds these. And then I'm running it underwater just to show you how easily this liquidless detergent breaks down. So I really think you all should give it a try if you haven't already. And I know many of you already use Earth Breeze because you let me know in the comments often, but if you do try it and you decide to go back to your old stuff for some reason, you can get a full refund on your Earth Breeze purchase, no questions asked, which I think is pretty great. When you're ready to try it, you can go to earthbreeze.com slash common tags to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash common tags for 40% off your subscription. Big thank you to Earth Breeze for sponsoring today's video. Back to the thread up boxes and to Robert. Nike. Okay, what do we think about pink Nikes? I think somebody was using these on the track. They have the pink track still on them a little bit. Oh, okay. Or they're walking, you know, on, a, on some type of a- Size eight. Man-made. I don't, I mean, the color isn't for me, but. These are the Lunar Lawn. I don't know how to say it. Um, I've had this style of shoe before. Um, not terrible. They're not in the best condition though. There's some signs of wear. So if I can maybe throw them in the wash and if they come out clean, I will sell them. Otherwise, I'll probably just re-donate re them. I'll definitely look at the style. So maybe 20 to 30 if I can get them cleaned up. More Clarks. Clarks. These are cool. Yeah? What size are they? Are they mine? Um. Eight and a half. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. These are almost like new because they don't have any footprints. Yeah, yeah, they look very new. And I have a similar style like this that are Clarks. They're cute. I can, I'm okay with cork. Okay, so Clarks, eight and a half. I think I can squeeze into these. Um, if I were to sell them, maybe 20 to 25. But really good condition. So. Yeah, look like brand new. Yeah. Oh. Kate Spade. Do you recognize it? I recognize the name, yeah. Okay. She committed suicide yeah. after she sold her brand. Right. That's, right. that's right. You were telling me that story. Yeah. Eight and a half. Made in Italy. My size. I don't sounds, need, I don't need these. Sounds fancy. She's not. I mean, yeah, she has some stuff that's pretty decent, but she's like a designer that's more um, ready to wear is what we call it, where it's like designers have ready to wear lines that's more accessible to people. So like more of your everyday, more of your everyday. You can actually afford it. 
it's actually wearable stuff. So these are actually in decent condition. Um, they've been worn a couple times, but eight and a half. So I will definitely sell these. There's some light scratches right here. Yeah. Just not, from like. Not super bad though. But yeah, I think I can sell these. Maybe 30, maybe 35. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So far, this is not a bad box. We only have a couple duds so far. M. Gemma? Um, I don't know where this comes from, but I have picked it up. <laughs> it does say made in Italy. Um, that does not always mean it's expensive. Right. But usually if it's in European sizing and it says made in Italy, that's a good sign. I don't know why I can't think of, I feel like I've never sold it for sure. I feel like I've found it and I feel like I've looked it up but maybe the condition was off. So I think these are worth selling. They're a patent leather, kind of a maroon that's pointed toe. Yeah. Like a wine color. Yeah. I don't know if that's... I think that would clean up. Yeah. So I think, I think these are sellable. I'll have to put comps on the screen because <clears throat> I don't know what they are. Yeah. These this are is nice. the last one. These are nice. Ish. I mean, they're in good shape. They feel like they're well made. Yeah. Yeah. Soft. Mm-hmm. Do you recognize it? Mm -mm, no. Soft with two Fs? No, I've never seen so it. So style-wise, you don't like flats? I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan, no. Yeah. But soft, I don't pick up. I've sold a few times. I've owned for work comfort shoes, um, like comfort heels. They're a really cute style. So I might list these because they've got the patchwork style, which is what you kind of call this. Yeah. And they, yeah, they seem nice. And like they're, they're quality. they decent made. Yeah. And they're in good condition. Um, so yeah, I'll probably list these, maybe get 20 bucks for them, seven, seven medium. Um, okay, so that is the shoe box. So, so far we have two duds that we are not selling. We have a few maybes. We have for sure some sold or some that I'm gonna list. So I think I can get my money back, probably double my money on this box, Really? which is great. That's Cause I good. paid a hundred dollars for this. For all those shoes? Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. Well, Especially you, if you, can... you should see some of the bad boxes cause then it's <laughs> not a great deal. Okay, next up. You want to do the small one? Yeah, let's do the small one. Okay. So while he's opening this box, uh, this really isn't like an introducing him video, but I do occasionally talk about him in videos to say he's around. Uh, we met seven months ago? Yeah. Something around there? Eight months ago? Mm -hmm. um, and we met in person uh, at an Indian food restaurant slash truck stop. And uh, he has the dog that's in some of my videos at the end. And um, we're in his house right now. So, Ac activewear box. This is activewear? 15 activewear pieces. What we're hoping for is some Lululemon, Ooh. some outdoor voices, which are the joggers I gave you that you like. Yeah, um, nice. You know, maybe some Viore. We'll That'd see. be great. Let's see what we got. This is heavy. That looks like Lulu. That is Lulu. That is Lulu. Is so that? this pull tab, so this is the logo. Oh yeah, I recognize that. And then that's the logo. Great start. That's Maybe they just gave us. It's a jacket. Yeah. yeah, okay, so it's a full zip. It is, the size is always on here if there's the pull tag. So this is a size 10, great size. It's a little faded. It's been washed a few times. This thing seems like it'd be warm, it's heavy. Yeah, it's got pockets. Yeah. So Lululemon, size 10, wonderful. I don't know the style. I will definitely list this. Maybe thirty to forty dollars for this, oh, which yeah? is great. Okay. Probably retailed for like one hundred fifty to two hundred. All right. One hundred fifty. That's not bad. Yeah, good start. Great pick. Maybe you're my good luck charm. Maybe. So then I'll just keep ordering those and making you open them with me. Sports bra. Okay. Uh, Kendall and Kyle. Kylie. Kylie. Do you know who Kendall and Kylie are? Jenner? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Kardashians? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I don't sell their stuff. Yeah. So they have, I think, a good line, but I don't. I think most of their stuff is not. I'll write on the screen some comps. I don't think I'm going to list this. Sport bras don't do that great. It's not my size. I can guarantee it. Small. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I can redonate this, which is fine. Yeah, this looks like brand new. Leggings, green, nope. I can already tell by the logo. Old Navy. Mm. Not bad. Not bad as far as someone getting them at the thrift store. I like that's your whole name. 
Perfect. <laughs> You're doing exactly what I do. Uh, what size are these? These are high rise, medium, old navy, active. So it's got the little logo on the back. Um, I'll just redonate these. These probably retailed for 20 bucks, maybe 25. So okay. you would probably only be able to get 10 bucks at best for this. Gotcha. If they even sold. More oh. leggings. Oh, <laughs> that's what we want to see. Yeah. We want to see. We want to see Lulus. We want to see some Lulus. <laughs> <laughs> we like more Lulus. Uh, yes, Lululemon leggings with the side pockets. I own similar leggings. What size are they? Let's see. Mm. So this is what's super common with Lululemon and a few other um, athletic wear brands. So if they don't, if they cut out the size tag, the pull tag that we saw earlier, right. you have to look in certain pockets to find it. Okay. So the telltale sign is if there's a zip pocket, usually back here, it's usually back there, but this doesn't have a zip, but it has this little oh, circle dot. So it's size eight? Size eight. And then there's also a style number on here, so I can look that up. Okay. And find the style. Is that your phone pocket? I don't know. It's like, yeah. a, like a small key. Small key, okay. But that's it. That's a yeah, very like sellable item. They're in good shape. Yeah, there's not a lot of pilling. Yeah, that's good. That's and good. there's, these are um, reflective. Right. So, you Everybody know, safety. Yeah. yeah. So this F is a telltale sign. Oh. This is Fabletics. 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 That's the brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Kate, what's her name? Um, kind of worked with some of the founders of Fabletics. It's a subscription based online website for athletic wear. We see it all the time in thrift stores and I do not pick it up to resell 99% of the time, but these are not terrible. Yeah. Um, so but I won't mean? sell them. So no I'll sell. I'll just redonate. Donate. Yeah. All right. Dan skin. Dan skin. It's a redonate. Medium. It's like a common brand. I believe they sell these at like. It's it's not an expensive brand, therefore it probably won't get too much in resale value. Also, it's just kind of a top, nothing unique about it. So that's just yeah. gonna redonate. All right. Mm, common logo. Can you guess? No idea. Athleta. Athlet, athleta. Athleta. <laughs> Made in Vietnam. Extra Made in Vietnam. small. Okay. They are very small. I mean, they stretch. Oh, do they? Leggings okay. stretch. So where, what, where would you have bought this brand at? Athleta. Originally? It's Gap owned. It's a Gap owned company. And they have a um, athletic wear line called Athleta. And it's usually a mall brand store that's next to Gap. Oh, okay. Right. So this I will occasionally pick up. <clears throat> so this is like a maybe, but probably only like twenty, twenty dollars. So, so a, I might actually that's, list that's that. That's a maybe, yeah. That's a maybe. All right. I like good athletic pieces, but I would probably pass on that in a thrift store. Fabletics. Fabletics. It's green, my favorite color. Um, it's a nice little basic top with these little cutouts on the arms, like probably right behind the elbows. But this is a pretty affordable online subscription athletic wear brand, so okay. I don't pick it up. So we're just gonna redonate that. These are just for style? For style. Yeah. To make a basic tee more, more interesting. More just, oh, your favorite, another sports bra. Yeah. This is Champion. Champion. You recognize that logo. That's, yeah, like Big Five, Walmart. They have like three or four different lines of Champion. Some oh, are, really? yeah. Yeah. So that's a redonate? That's a donate. You aren't, you have to show them. <laughs> <laughs> Champion, uh, size small, redonate or donate. <clears throat> Reebok. Okay, how do we feel about Reebok? I feel like it's one of those brands that has probably a lot of different tiers also. Yeah, and it's also super common. Yeah. So unless it's like a really amazing outerwear piece or something, I would probably just donate this. I wouldn't pick this up. So this what size? Large. No, small. Sorry, yeah. size small in the U.S. Yeah. Mm, large in Japan. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Camo? Camo. I mean, what do we got? Mm. Blink Mystery. tag. Mystery tag. So now you want to look for a logo. Any logo. They kind of feel cheap. 
but some athletic wear does. So there's no logo. A lot of leggings will have them on the back of the calf or up here. Okay. Um, this is a washed out tag. So there's nothing. And I can't see it, but there's also, you can look at the end of these and see if there's any logos or buttons. And I can't see any of that. So this, I think, is a nothing brand. Amazon brand? Is that a thing? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's a redonate. Donate? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Colorful. They look cheap. Do they? Yeah. How do you, why do you say that? I don't know. Just the way just they. The idea. Oh, it's Fabletics. Fabletics. So, again, if they were my size, I would probably keep them just to wear. I wouldn't resell them only because the tags typically get cut out and then I don't know the size and there's not as big of a following. Yeah. Right. So. Well, this is colorful. Yes. It's like some outdoor pants, Cambria. No. Columbia, sorry. You know Columbia. <laughs> I just misread. Yes, Columbia. But this is an indicator that this is a relatively new item and they just tore the tag off and they didn't ever cut off the little stitching because this needs to be cut off. Right. So these are probably in pretty decent condition. They're hiking pants. They're also what we call convertible. Oh yeah, I like those, yeah. So um, they convert into shorts, which is great for you and I and some people, but the size is size four short. It's pretty small. Short is hard to sell at times. Not everyone's gonna agree with me, um, but it is a specific audience. So it narrows yeah. down the field, but the convertible pants are great. Yeah, if this were Patagonia, I would probably sell it. Columbia is more slightly affordable. Um, I might redonate these because of the short factor. Yeah, they're in good shape though. They are. Oh, okay. Have you seen this? No. I feel like this is a like big five and stuff. Bay leaf. Or I've seen it TJ Maxx. Bay leaf. I've seen it TJ Maxx. So it's an affordable out uh, athletic wear brand. Size small. Size small. Bay leaf. Um, I don't sell this brand um, only because I see it pretty cheap at TJ Maxx. So, redonate. Okay. Any more? Oh. One more. This is Lululemon. You want to know how I know? What is this? Well, is it's this a guess. A shirt? Maybe not. <laughs> There's just like one little. Yeah. It's, <laughs> maybe not. Really? Oh yeah, it is. Well, I'm really good. Um, nice. It's a shirt, but hold it up, and then this is tied in the front. So there's like a little tie. Oh, okay. that Happens right here. So even though this is Lululemon, I'm probably going to redonate this because it's a basic tee. And even though the brand has a decent following, I typically don't sell their basic tees. Right. Um, there's just not as much of a following. I could probably get 10 to 15 bucks for this. Yeah. So. All right. Or I might give it to someone at the gym. There you go. Yeah. So this <laughs> box, uh, the shoe box cost me 100 with shipping. It's like 98 with shipping. This box cost $54 plus shipping, which was like 10 bucks. So $64. I really only got like a couple of Lululemon and an athletic pants that I probably will end up listing. So I'll make my money back on this, but I don't think I will make a profit, which is fine. So you think that's a break even that box? It's a break even, I think. Okay. So and how do you feel about the shoe box? Is that I wouldn't I mean shoe boxes are hit even. or miss as long as I can make my money back. It's just for fun. Okay. But I think I could potentially make a couple hundred dollars and potentially double. Which is great. On the shoes? Yeah. yeah. Which right. is good for me putting in the work to list it and ship it and all that. Okay. Okay. The big box. 50 pound clothing box. It's too big to put up here. So it's going to be on his side. This is editing Courtney. I just wanted to hop on really quick to say this 50 pound box that's up next. It was just too long to open and too much footage. I decided it was going to be too long of a video. So I cut out everything that I'm not going to resell. Um, and I know sometimes that's helpful, but I decided just to keep in the items that I might resell or definitely will resell and show you that. And, um, so hopefully you enjoy this next part and hopefully I have better time management the next video that we might do with some thread up boxes, but back to the 50 pound box. Mm, well, life okay. is, life is good. Do you know what it is? Do you, no. have you seen this brand? No, I haven't. This is common. Life that's, is good. Oh, that's the brand. Okay. Yeah. 
I thought it was. Just and this like is a actually statement. a good life is good piece. What size is this? This is a size large, great. Life is good has a following. They usually have some prints and they're pretty affordable, but there's a loyal following for them. This is a great size, a great style pullover. Yeah. And this I think I'll sell. Okay. So we got one to sell finally. Yeah, and well I mean I might wear it once, but it's fine. <laughs> well, it's a tag on it. Okay, new with tags, Torin. Have you ever heard of Torin? Mm-mm. Okay, so they have what's called vanity sizing. This is Torrid Scrubs, which I didn't know they made that, but they have vanity sizing. So it size, says size six, but that's actually a size 20 something, 26, 28, 30. Um, it's a plus size brand. Okay. So, but this is Torrid Scrubs, so nurses who wear a lot of scrubs to work. Yeah. But this is new with tags. So this retail, probably for pretty affordable. So it's uh, retailed for $60. Oh, it's size 30. So six is also equal to six X, which is also equal to 30 plus size. Gotcha. So this retailed for $60. I've never seen Torrid Scrubs. I'm going to probably imagine I'll sell this because it's a great size. And it's got the tags. So. And it's got the tags. And it's a great working top. Yeah. So this is a pretty little print over here. This looks promising. Does it? Yeah. Uh, mm, it is promising. What is, how do you pronounce it? So Moulinet Sors, it's French. I don't okay. know how to say it correctly. Oh gosh. Bless you. Thank you. Um, it's an anthropology brand. Oh, okay. Which you know anthropology. Yeah. So their stuff retails for a decent amount. Like this was probably a $200 dress, um, but it doesn't usually resell all that well. So I could probably get $30 to $40 for this. But it's a midi length. It's got a lining to a mini style. It's got a very like uh, feminine look to it with like the print and color. So I think this will do well. I think this will be in like the 30, 35 mark. So that's a sell. That is a list worthy. Yes. I start banging through these. Yeah. Reformation. Okay, what do we think of this? <laughs> I got no clue on this one. I mean, it doesn't strike me as anything awesome. Okay, look at the material tag. Oh, the material tag has been cut off. Usually they have a pretty wide material tag. You see how it's right. cut out right here. Um, so they do, they do have the size in there, which is great. So this is a little crop top tee. Reformation's actually a pretty pricey, trendy brand. Okay. Sold on websites like Revolve. Um, they also, I think, have their own stores. You think of like Hollywood or Melrose, they probably have a, a Reformation store. Um, this is a basic. There is like a little spot right there. Yeah. So it's not in perfect condition. This is a good brand. I would pick it up with certain items, but for a basic like this, I might not flip it. So I'm going to probably... Going to go which pile? I This is like a maybe, so we'll just... You know, we'll just put in the maybe. For now. Uh, maybe right. 20 bucks for that. Still has a tag. Are those boxers? Those? No, those are girls. Those are girls workout Nike Pro shorts. Pro workout shorts. Um, tiny. They stretch. Yeah. Um, I might, I don't know. They're new with tags. They're Nike Pro, <laughs> tight fit, mid rise, three inch length, extra small. But here's a tag. Um, they retail, they don't have the original price, but they probably retailed for like 35. I could, I could maybe get 20 bucks for these. So it's not like the best, yeah. but it's new tags new. going into summer. Yeah. So we'll see. Easy photo. I feel like that's like a look some girls like. It is. Those. Yeah. yeah. Little bike shorts. Yeah. Okay. So here's your, here's your label. So this is another anthropology dress. So there's like a liner, a little dress under under right. it. So this is cute, a little floral dress. Yeah. Um, size four, girls from Savoy. Anthropology, the way you can tell, but some anthropology things is by what's called an RN number. And an RN number is usually on the material tag. This is the material tag. So this is a silk dress, this 66170. Okay. Is the RN number so six six one seven zero is Free People Anthropology or Urban Outfitters? It's the same uh, family. Gotcha. And so sometimes if you see a tag and you're like, this kind of looks anthro, you look. Not all the time will it be the right RN number, but this is like a guarantee. Oh yeah, this is definitely anthropology. Sometimes it will say on the back anthropology or Free People or, okay. but um, this is yeah, this is sellable. Okay. 
We got one for the keep pile. One for the resale, for the resale pile. pile. Yeah, <laughs> girls from Savoy. This is probably <clears throat> like 25 to 35, probably 25 to 30 resale value. All right, Athleta. Okay, you, do you recognize that brand? Yeah. Okay, so that was owned by... Owned by, I forgot the name. But Gap. Gap, that's right, yeah. Uh, this is a cute little pullover. I like the color. If it's in good condition, I'll probably list this. I'll throw it on the mannequin, maybe 20, 15, 20 bucks for this, but I like, <clears throat> I like the style. Yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. Yeah. Okay. Athleta, I'll list that. Not too much, but I really like the style. It'll look good on the mannequin. So I think it'll be worth it. On this one. <laughs> oh no. These are pants? Right here. What kind of, what, what is this, like a? Pajama pants. Pajama pant, okay. AACS or AASC. Andy Cohen and Sant and Abel. Uh, it's a collab. Andy Cohen is the, like the guy that has Watch What Happens Live. Oh, okay. Sant and I, Abel, I don't know who that is, but pajama pants, yeah. size XL. I've never seen this tag. I know nothing except I do know if it's a collab and it's someone I recognize, it might, it might be worth reselling. It's also a great size. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a top in there. Ooh, there's a top right there. Oh, even better. Perfect. So sets are always great. Yeah, they feel like they're pretty new too. They don't seem very warm. So Sokka or, yeah, I don't know. It's Andy Cohen and S and Abel. That's what, so I don't know how they say it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna resell this because I've never seen it. There might be a following. It's a collab. Yeah, seem nice. It's, it's great size. We like good sizes. Mm. I already see something I like. Do you? We'll see. Athleta. So again, not Lululemon, not Viore, not some of my favorite brands, but it's still a decent brand. And these are little joggers. Yeah. And they've got little like, so these are great for all sorts of like casual day. You can put yeah. on your cute sneakers. Um, this is probably size small. Oh, size 10. Well, even better. They just look like they. So Athleta, this is an older tag, but cute little joggers. They have like a little tie at the like crop area. Right. Yeah, that's a look. That's a look. It's cute. Yeah. yeah. Like little black <laughs> pants. So that's a yes, we will resell that. Uh, let's see, Eli Eliza, Eliza J? It's not terrible. I've sold it maybe once or twice. Um, I like the color. It's like a good little spring color. It's a size 12, which is great. That's like average. I think the average woman is like a size 14 or 16. So if you can get anything around that average as opposed to like a size zero yeah. <laughs> um, or whatever, but this is a cute dress. I might list this cause it will, it, I think it's really cute. It's like a good, it's yeah. got all the little eyelet detail. Yeah, it's in good shape. So um, they're not cheap, they're not expensive. I think it's sold at department stores. So I'll probably list that cause it's just good for the season. Gotcha. Ooh, I like it. Wish. I don't know what that means. There's a dry cleaning tag, which is a good sign. Is it? Um, look at how fun this is. Yeah. <laughs> fun. Okay. It's, it is a Wish lot size large. Than everything else we've been pulling out. Someone bought it and dry cleaned it, which is great. Everyone likes a good try on. This is kind of that mob wife. Yeah. Like, it's big. It's like a teddy coat almost. It does feel like a teddy bear. It does. Um, I'll just keep this on. This is really comfortable and cozy. Um, I don't think the brand is all that much. Wish. It also doesn't look like super cheap. Yeah. I would say mid-range if I had to guess. Like boutique-y? Oh, Wish the label. Australian. It's an Australian brand. Okay, so that's good. So this might actually be a decent pickup. Oop, there's a tear right here in the armpit. Oh, yeah. Not a bad thing. Someone can fix that or they wear it as is. It's not showing through yeah, the... Yeah, it's on the inside. So I've never seen this, but I think this is a decent, a decent one. This tear in the armpit. Is it going through? No. No. So yeah, I think that's <clears throat> fine. Yeah, it's fun. I could either like restitch that if I wanted to get, spend some time on it, which I won't. So I will sell it <laughs> as is and maybe wear it once. Oh! There you go. There's something. Something. Patagonia. I mean, it, obviously. And this is outerwear. This yeah, is. It's a rain pant. 
Or yeah, like a, or look at like zips pant. all the way. Skiing for Ivan, yeah. That's awesome. That's nice and they're in good shape. And it's part of the, like it's got some part of the line. So. It's like an outer shell. It is, it's yeah. lightweight. So Patagonia, I don't know where the tag is. I will find it later. These are like a lightweight pant that zips all the way up. In like here, shape. really good shape. I will find the information. I will definitely resell these. That's great. That's a good one. And then we follow it up with this. Beyond Yoga. Is that the tag? That's the logo for Beyond Yoga. Oh, what's Beyond Yoga? Oh, Beyond Yoga collab with Bar. Um, they, it is a brand that I own and that I've resold. Yeah. Um, does it not have a size? X? No, that's no. the collab <laughs> with the Bar 3. Seem nice. These are probably large, if I had to guess. They stretch. And they got this little Oh, detail. okay. Yeah. So this is a collab. The bar classes that are harder than I'll get out. Um, Beyond Yoga collab. I don't think this will do that well, but I'll definitely resell it. Maybe 25 for these. Really cute little animal print. I think they're cute. Yeah. That's actually, these are Beyond Yoga. Oh, really? Okay. I think. Yeah, so they, clearly they, they like have. well made when you feel them. Yeah, very <coughs> fitted. More leggings. So you can't find anything on the inside. You have to look for that. Oh, there you go. Lululemon. And more reflective stuff. And this looks like a good size. So how would you find, remember how you said there's sometimes oh, a zip yeah, pocket? Yeah. There's no dot in this zip pocket. It could be in another pocket. 12. Perfect. Um, these look like these stretch quite a bit. Um, but they are a great size 12 Lululemon side pockets cropped. Fantastic. Wonderful. All right. Making some progress finally. Yeah. This box is just never ending. <laughs> uh, it, I think they, this is a, a one point sold at anthropology as someone told me or not, but, um, I have sold this brand once before. It's a good style, it's a good size. I might list it. Good style meaning other people like, you know, yeah. unique and kind of colorful and, um, but I can't recall. I do remember when I first listed this probably like five years ago that it was, some people listed under Anthro. So I'll list that, maybe 20 bucks. Yeah, okay. It's a good size. The reset. If a tee costs $58, we are, it's an expensive t-shirt. That's an expensive t-shirt. It's <laughs> our label. I don't know this brand, but it's definitely expensive. When women run shit gets done. Oh, when women run, wait. When women, when women run, shit gets done. It's like a political. Right. Um, I'm not mad at this. It's new with tags. It's a size large. Uh, I don't know the value of this, but I do know that it's not a cheap t-shirt. $58 for a t-shirt, not cheap. But I do feel like I've seen the R label before. And then at 58. But yeah, made in the USA, large. I'll sell it. Okay. Hmm. Hama, New York. This looks nice. They look bougie. Yeah. Um, also, um, I can wear these under boots. Yeah. Seem like a decent size. But maybe there were some things, so I will sell them. I've never seen this, but they look bougie. And it says Hama New York over here. And it's like cute tan blue, yeah. white. So if they're worth anything, I will wear them under boots. If they are worth something, easy listing. Ooh, sequins. Hmm. Uh, Karina? Karina, I don't know. How do you feel about this? It's not my style. <laughs> I know, it's not your style. <laughs> I feel like a girl could wear this with like a little mini skirt and be, and be pretty cute. It'd be a look. It gives me... Or with a cute pair of jeans and a cute pair of heels. Yeah, it kind of gives me grandma vibes though. Does it? Yeah. It's a lot of vintage does. This is vintage. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've never seen this. This might be worth selling. I might be able to get something because despite what he thinks, I think someone could pull <laughs> this off and make this super cute. Um, 
Yeah. Seen, we'll see. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. <laughs> um, what do you think? Do you think that this pile right here was worth the 150? I, I think he kind of struck out on that one a little bit. I mean, I've had boxes where I haven't had anything to resell from them. So the fact that I could probably yeah. make my money back. You got what, like five items, six <laughs> items out yeah. of that box? I mean, and there's a few that are like maybes. I think I can make my money back. But I, I do not think this was my best box. <laughs> I yeah. think in total, I have something to resell from every box. Yeah, for sure. And it's fun to yeah. open up boxes. Yeah, I think you probably break even all together. Yeah. Uh, so we will be back, maybe, with another video. Not, not too soon, but maybe in the future. Um, so be sure to hit the thumbs up if you want to see Robert back. <laughs> maybe a thrift store. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to work up to that. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.